How you doing tonight, boys and girls? Dirty old... Got some parts Belsif here, eh? To build the old, fix the old X-Max. So, this is what I broke. Friggin' right it is. What a friggin' deal this was. I got a 7746, which is the steering mechanisms. Friggin' right. I've got a 7729, which is the upper control arms. A 7731, lower control arms. A 7730, other lower control arms. So right and left, boys, eh? 7723. Nerf bars, a 7752 rear wheel knuckles, and I've got uh whatever number this is, boys. The chassis. Look at that thing. For frig's sakes. I gotta take the whole car apart to put that in, boys. Hey? Eh? Gotta disassemble we do. So let's not fool around here. Let's just get right to her and see what we need to take off, because I have no clue. I really don't. So we got the power drill out this time because there's no way in hell I'm gonna unscrew all this by hand. Forget it, hey? Not gonna happen, boys and girls. So we'll take them off, take that out, we'll take that out. We're gonna try to friggin' remember where all these friggin' screws go we do. Holy, that's gonna be the next thing. Good for the old flipper. And we should be able to run these ones out on the bottom. I don't know if you can see or not. Probably not, why would you? Hold on to her. We'll run these ones out, we will. <laughs> These are a different size. Oh my god, how are we gonna remember where all these screws go? Easy, careful, gentle. Oh, boys. You know you're probably facing right down there. Friggin' camera. Why wouldn't you? Oh, easy. We got a sticker in there, we do. Freak's sakes. Why wouldn't we? Need a picker tool. We need a we needed the pick though, eh? She's not gonna come out. So let's flip her out and she should fall out. Should we run all the screws out of this? What do you think, boys? Run them all. Let's do it. Oh wee. There we go. We got all them out, we do. Now hopefully, if all goes well, this part should pop off. Remember boys, this is my first time I've ever took the X-Max part, so bear with me here. See, I didn't have to take these screws out yet, but they're out. They're out and that's all that matters it is. Look at the friggin' cover for the drive shaft on that thing. That's friggin' decent. So we'll put this over here. These screws go with that. You got that? Hope so, cause I don't. So now this should come off. There's more screws somewhere there is. So let's flip her back over and that one screw should drop out. Maybe not. For freak sakes. Boys, there she is. Now I'll pull off this part. Decent. Decent. Oh yeah. Look at the dirt in there already, holy. So there's that half. So now we gotta spin this around we do. Something like that, boys. And we gotta pull off the front bumpage. One, two. Buckle your shoe. Three, four. Look out the door. Here we go, boys. So now that that's off, what's next, boys? I don't know what's holding them on yet. Holy frig. Holy. Guess we gotta keep going, we do. The motor and everything's gotta come out of this thing. Oh, friggin' Lee. Total disassemble of the old X-Max, boys and girls. Why wouldn't we do a total disassemble? You can tell by the drill it's decent, eh? The way it sounds. It's like, mmm, decent. Okay, there's something holding this in. I'm not sure what yet. Those should just pop out, boys. Friggin' right, they should. They're just really in there. There's one. Oh, we just gotta use some force, we do. All right, now that I moved you, we'll step off this doodad. There we go. Decent. And now we'll try to lift this out. Oh, we got more screws. More El Scruzos. Oh, there they are. They're hiding on me. The crossbar on the top, there's four screws inside the chassis. Just so you know. Don't say never show you anything. Why wouldn't you? Holy, they're long. Easy. Careful, gentle, boys. There we go. Let's flip her back over again. And now these should lift out. Friggin' right it did. Eh? All in one big piece, boys. Oh, we got wires going through it and everything else. Oh my god. We have to unplug the motor. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. That should just lift right out of there, it should. Decent. There it is. Friggin' right it is. So there's that part, so I can actually put those four screws back in, I can. Which are, which ones, boys? Those are the bottom. Oh, here we go already, for frig sakes. I knew this wasn't gonna take long. 
That's not them, boys. That's not them, boys. That's not them, boys. Not the frig, boys. Four. Hey, four. For the amount of time it takes, I'm telling you right now, put the old screws in the holes when you take it apart. Because all you need to do is one wrong screw and one wrong hole. And you never know. So now we'll take off this cover. Pop this off. Decent. That can go over here with the screws in it. Now the motor should just lift right out, boys. Look at that, eh? Holy, that's a beast. Frig, I gotta take all that apart. Oh, oh boys. So there's that part. Oh, look at the dirt in there already. Holy. There's a screw missing out of that. Oh, wait, I didn't take the screw out. I just pulled it through. Why wouldn't I? Set that stuff over here with the screws, hey? Now, now we're gonna have to unplug everything, boys. I gotta take a picture with my camera. Here, take a mental picture of that, would you? Decent. Okay, I have all the wires ran out of that, so now I should be able to lift this out. Don't move the pins, because the pins need to be where they are. That's how you do a gear adjustment. That motor is freaking monster. And now, we gotta take out, take out the old controller we do. Out she comes, eh? We'll give that a cleaning. Freaking right we will. We're getting somewhere here. So we gotta lift this out, which means we're gonna have to break the old seal. There we go. So we'll take that out of there. Receiver, boys. Hey, friggin' right it is. And then this goes down through for the old steering servage. Frig, man. I don't even know where to go from here. Oh well. So next. <laughs> Easy. We'll take out this. It's not coming out. Why would it? Oh yeah. All right, so I took out these four screws I did in the corner of the chassis plate. Now I'm just gonna see what comes apart here. Okay, so we gotta take more apart, boys. We're not done yet, we aren't. So now we gotta start unbolting the steering. So there must be screws. Oh, there they are. Inside here, boys. There's screws in here, there is. There's one. We'll come over here and see. How you doing, hey? How the hell you doing? Gotta take the shock off, for sakes. I don't want to. I'm gonna take the shock off. I'm gonna have to. For God's sakes, Jim. I'm just gonna hand bomb this one I am because it's just one little screw, boys. Oh, easy. And then we'll push the pin like so, and then we'll move the shock like so. How's that for easy? So now we should be able to get the screw out if I can find it, boys. What the frig? There isn't one there. Oh, there's two at the back too. Holy. Oh, and they're connected to the arms. Oh my God, boys. What's really going on? So we gotta pull these pins. Yeah, I'm gonna forget how this goes back together big time. Friggin' right I am. Disassemble whole truck. Friggin' right we are. Why wouldn't we? So we should be able to pull these. There they go. There's one. Man, did I do this thing in good, boys. Girls, peoples. There's two. And now this should come apart. Friggin' right it did. There we go. There is only one screw that goes in there. So which one was it? Do you remember? Because I don't. Oh, frig, here we go. So there was four. So there should be four together here. One, two. So that can sit over there we can. Now. Oh, that just fell off from somewhere. There's more screws? Sure is. Down in here. Full of dirt. Holy cow. Uh-oh. We have to flip her upside down and lose more parts we are. Because they're full of dirt. Clean that out. Clean that out. Clean that out. It's a messy job. But somebody's got to do it. They're the big ones that I can't find. Them. What the frig is going on here, boys? Holy. Frig. How is there that much dirt in there already? Only had it out like three times. It's got fully dirt in there, it does. Frig! Okay, boys, I took her outside and blew her out, I did. So hopefully I can get on them now. But we're gonna freaking find out here right fast we are. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to spray it with some WD or something, I might. It's always gonna be that one screw, eh? Oh, there's one. We got him. Friggin' right we got him. Thank frig, eh? <gasps> Something's happening. So now we gotta take off the back section. Oh, friggin' Lee. Easy. Careful. Gentle. What the frig? I can't find the screw, boys. I can't find the friggin' screw, I can't. There she is, just had to get on my knees. Two in the back. There we go. Two, two, and two. Two, two, and two, eh? Oh, family's home. All hell's gonna break loose now. Friggin' right it is. Might have to put you on pause for a minute. Friggin' right, I might have to. All right, there is the front. Decent. How the hell am I supposed to get that out now? Oh, boys. Look at that. Holy. Just wrecked it, I did. Well, boys and girls, I figured out why I couldn't get those screws out. Don't buy cheap tools. Don't buy cheap RC tools. Stripped. Hey, stripped. So I had to go out and 
Cut one of my Allen keys, please. Friggin' right I did. And look at it, right out. It comes right out. Holy, this thing is freaking serious, man. Look at that servo, boys. So I'm just working on the steering here now. And uh, it looks like, I'm not sure how that goes in, so I'm just gonna pop this out. Pop out of this, oh, we will, oh. And then we'll see what's really going on. Slide that screw back in there and lifty lifty. There's a piece of broke. All that just for that. Me? Eh? All that for that. Friggin' right, I'll set that down there for a minute. And we'll pull this over here. Look at the size of the servo in this thing. Holy crap, boys. Still feels good. Friggin' right it does. Servo Audi. So there's a chassis plate out. That only took 20 minutes. So now we'll bring up this other chassis plate and we'll start to reassemble. But boys, honest to God, look at that servo. It's even got cooling around it. Like, what the frig, man? Never seen anything like that before. That is one big servo. Holy crap balls. We'll slide this back in here like this. We'll swing it around like that, because that's the way she goes. And we'll slap that back in. Decent, let's back this off a little. Give her a number three. Don't need to lock tight these ones in. So there's that back in. So look at boys, we're already off to a good start we are. So now what we need is, <laughs> look at the drive shaft. <laughs> that thing is freaking huge. <laughs> Ain't no messing around with that drive shaft. I never seen it, look at the size of this drive shaft in this thing. <laughs> Oh, holy, I've had Honda Civics with smaller drive shafts than that. Oh my God, that's funny. Oh man. Just a small drive shaft, boys and girls. Eh? What's there going on? My head hurts from laughing so hard about that. That was funny. So there's that part. So now we can move this up and we'll slide this piece back in, boys. A little sticker in the front yoke, we will. Give her a little turny turny. There she goes. And we'll put a couple screws in to hold this, eh? We're gonna need a rusty screw, boys. There's a rusty screw here somewhere. We gotta find her. There she is. One more rusty, boys. I lost a rusty screw, boys. Get out of there, you son of a beaver. All right, so that kind of holds that together for me. So we gotta change this piece here now we do that I broke. So we gotta pull this screw out here. I love doing this stuff. This is awesome. Allen key, boys. Lost the Allen key again. Friggin' right it did. Constant lose of the Allen keyage. So we'll stick that in like that. And I don't think I need to change, I'm just gonna change the part I broke because I'm a big firm believer in only, only fix what's broken, boys. Okay, friggin' right I am. So, how does that come off? This thing might just slide off. Oh, there we go. So we need the bearings, we'll take the bearings out. There's four bearings by the looks of her. And that's garbage, boys. Why wouldn't it be? So the part we need for that is, not that one. Is it that one? Nope, not that one. It was the first one. I had it right the first time I did. Let's clean these bearings off real quick. Give them a little buffy buffy. Make sure they're still good. Decent. Slap that bearing in there. Clean her off. Slap that bearing in there. Slap this one in here. Slap this one in here. So now we can slide this back on, this back over, and the screw back in. And there we go, boys. Oh, very nice, boys. So now that that's done, I guess we'll get the suspension back together. So we'll clean this off. I'm gonna do the motor and stuff last. Friggin' right I am. So that goes in there like that. And then we need the upper control arm. Goes in here like this. We need to get this piece back in. Friggin' right we do. Just like that. And we'll get a control arm in to hold her in place. There we go. We'll get this part in. There we go. We gotta remove the lower control arm on this side. I gotta find the broken little control now because I think it had a piece I need. I can read it, did. So we'll get this part out, slide that off, and I'll garbage all boys. So now we need the lefty. Decent, we'll slide that in. I'm gonna try to stay away from poles though from now on because this is way too much work. Guys. God, I did a lot of damage on this friggin' one. There we go, that's in. Put the screws back in. Now I know what you're all gonna say. You didn't even friggin' clean the truck while you had it apart. Nope, don't care. I'll hose her off later and blow her off with some air. Working up a friggin' sweat I am. New lower control arm installed. So, now we need to assemble this piece. I can't believe I didn't break any of that. That's friggin' amazing. Slide that on there like that. We gotta figure out what pin went where. I think it's this pin. I'm trying to get the steering 
screw boys if you're wondering hey now we need an upper control arm it's gonna be a long video boys long edit for me today we'll turn three hour job into 20 minutes boys hey so we don't bore the dicks out of you now we can put the steering back in which goes in there like that small screw first boys there we go so now we can throw these back in i think i grabbed the wrong ones that's a definite no go on them all i knew this would have happened oh there they are here they are boys they're hiding back here near you you're freaking hiding out on me so we'll put the shock back on so it's not dangling in my way screw grub screw oh you're hiding on me er don't let me forget that okay freak you better not you know what happened i'm gonna be short a pin because when that lower control arm broke broke right at the pin it did well boys went for a walk in the park in the dark with a flashlight and you're not gonna believe this i know you're gonna have, find it hard to believe but i found the pin in the grass i found the other piece of the friggin lower control arm with a screw in it found another piece of the arm and a little piece of the arm in the dark in the rain holy talk about lucky so now at least we have the parts we need. Hey, you don't have to go out and buy any more parts. Freaking decent. So we'll get this out of here and we'll uh, put the pin in, the shock ski. So we'll slide the pin in that I found in the grass. Come over here. Come over here and watch, would you? I have to clean my office when I've done this job. Holy. There we go, boys. The shocks are sitting for a couple days. I've seen no oil from them, so they're not leaking. That's one good thing. Shocks are still good, boys. Freaking right they are. So there's a front end all back together. So now we just got to work on the old rear endy. Got to clean this off. We got to get the other control arm, a knuckle. We'll clean up the old bearings. Oh boys, they're still mint. Bring it right here. I had somebody ask me tonight too, are the bearings still good? I said, yeah, as far as I know they are. Decent. Drive shaft back in. Put that back in like that. That back on like this. Pin back in like that. Put that in like that. This back on like this. Decent. Put this back on like this. Throw that back in the hole. Flap that around like that. Put your back in, boys. There's two. It's gonna go back together pretty quick, I think. So we'll throw that back in like this because the pins are lined up for it. There she is. That's pretty slick the way it's got its own little doodads. So now that that's done, we should maybe put that shock on because I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna drive me friggin' bonkers having this thing all cockied. Hey? Having her all cocky, Jim. Listen to them two up there. What's really going on? There we go. Shocks are on, boys. Flip her upside down and we'll put some chassis plates on it. We will. So this is a front bumpers. Front bumpers, boys. There we go. Now we'll spin her around and we'll do the back bumper. Boys. Definitely gonna have to back in the old office. So slide this on here like so. Decent. So there we go, there's that part done. Holy boy, she's coming together pretty quick, she is. Freaking right it is. Well, there you go, boys and girls, all back together. Friggin' right it is. That didn't take too long, I don't think. I think I, oh, I think it was about three and a half hours doing that. But she's all back together. Everything feels good. Steering works. Get some batteries plugged in here real quick here and see what's what. Oh, I need my controller, boys. All right, so hopefully this thing don't take off on me. Decent. Turbo's still good. <laughs> Drive train's still good. Friggin' right we did. Oh, there we go, boys. Another episode of Bill Siv here. Put the X-Max back together. We did. Friggin' right we did. Anyways, I'll edit this and see what I get out of it and this and that and the other thing. And hopefully everybody has a good uh, weekend. Doesn't do anything I didn't do. But uh, she's just a mess in here, boys. And now I gotta clean up. Vacuum. Everything else I do. So anyways, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now. One, one.